Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming and tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, guys, I'm asking you to either give, give it a thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up, motivate me, promote me, promote this video, promote my channel by just clicking the like button just before we, we move forward. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I said either do that or subscribe, but you can do both. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I promise you that you'll always learn something new. So in this video, guys, I just want to talk about the highest paying careers in America. So as this channel is dedicated to helping you immigrate to America through education, through green card, through whatever means, employment. I just thought, you know what? Let's talk about the highest paying careers in America so that we can dream, right? If you are dreaming or just so you can know, just so you can know. So in this video, we're talking about the highest paying careers and I went to the website for uh, labor statistics it, it had like too many details uh, so I wasn't going to use it but the website I'm going to use it it's, it's kind of the same they source their information from the department of labor statistics so it's, it's, it's kind of the same it's not too off so we're going to use a website and I'm going to share that it's good to know, right? So that maybe if you choose your career, you can say, you know what? Hmm, let me try this other career here. Because money makes the world go round. Money makes the world go round, right? Choose a career that will pay you. So this is a top 20. Top 20? Yeah, the top 20. So let's start with the bottom let's start with the bottom with the bottom with the bottom okay political scientists so with this one you probably need your masters and masters in political science and some experience so their median mean salary is 115,300 so for this one guys it's kind of so for this one you need a lot of experience you really need a lot of experience like working for um, running a campaign and, you know, having a record to show that you, you ran a campaign or probably working. It, actually, before you start work, I see a lot of networks uh, hire political scientists, but usually they hire very highly, highly experienced. So highly experienced um, uh, people. So with this one, you need a lot of experience. You just don't graduate. I just wanted you to know that you just don't go and graduate from whatever university that you've gone to and then come boom, earning this much. No, that's, that, this is not true. This is not true. So it doesn't apply to everybody. For this one, there are some careers that when you just graduate, this is the minimum that you earn. No, so political scientists, and it might be actually hard to get like a, a job job. It's not like it's not like a hot career. So, but it is here. If you're making it in the top, you are putting out policies, you're running campaigns, people are winning and all that, then that's how much the median is, the mean salary is. Okay. Uh actuary and actuary. Okay, so this one, guys, is so reachable. So in this country, they pay more. I think in Kenya, where I, I reference Kenya because that's where I'm from, I've seen a lot of people who are good in math take this. So in this country, there are so many companies that you are, you get the opportunities to be uh, assessing risk. That's what it is, right? Assessing risk. So we have a lot of insurance companies. So this one has a lot of, this one has opportunity for immigrants actually. So if you are good at math, so this is something to consider guys. I have a friend actually who, um, who works for an insurance company. I don't know how much he gets paid, but I think he gets paid good. So in this country, this one pays. So this I would recommend for 
for immigrants because it's like it has a base at least it has a base base salary when you get out and you go to a company you'll get a good base base um base salary so what is required for this one like i said you are required to be good at math and just your first degree will land you at least a base job and that's really good money that's good money guys so that's something to consider for careers okay this one for eye doctor so any kind of doctor here in america guys any kind of doctor ooh, any kind of doctor pays really good it's anytime they make like top 10 top 20 it's like the first 15 is a different kind of doctor family doctor physician surgeon they make really good money but they are so overworked guys they are so overworked and the risks that is involved too much is given too much is required so this country they pay doctors they pay big time because it costs a lot to do things here to like go to the hospital little things like minor things like even just having like five minutes with your doctor it's like you're paying so much in so yeah so that's a good um this one is an eye doctor okay so this one you need a doctorate degree okay financial advisor so 121,770. So with this one, guys, also is, it's kind of like deceptive in a way. You can't just do your business degree and expect to earn that much. No. So this one requires a lot of experience. To become a financial advisor in this country requires like you to manage a lot of clients going out there to... If you're doing a private uh, financial advising, like you run your own firm, maybe this is how much, but that requires a lot of work. Like that requires you to go to people, wealthy people, or if it's not wealthy people, like uh, people with little money, but then it's going to require a lot of reaching out to, to reach that level where you're earning that much. So with this one, I'd say it's a little deceptive in a sense. Not everybody will earn this much unless you're working for like a big financial advising firm and you are the top. Like you, you really have to be on top of your, of your game to be earning this much. So if you ask me, would I encourage an immigrant who comes here uh, to America to do business degree and then pursue financial advising? I'd say yes and no. No, because it's going to take you a very long time before you can even get this kind of money, right? It really takes a, a long time before you can get this amount of money, okay? The next one is pharmacists. So this one is good. The problem is the schooling pharmacists. The problem is the schooling part. So if you are lucky or if you want to immigrate to America, do your pharmacy school in your country. Do your pharmacy school in your country and then come here, do certifications. There's an exam you have to do just like nursing. There's exams you have to do. And then after that, you become a pharmacist. So there is, just to let you know, guys, there's a lot of Nigerians and um, Indian pharmacists in this country and they get paid really good. And I know a few Kenyans. I have a friend who is a pharmacist. Um, but they are also very much overworked, guys. They work so hard. This country is big. It is big with drugs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Me coming from Africa, it's like I came here and I realized Americans, they, uh, let, let me not blame Americans, it's the industry. The industry of drugs, they push a lot of drugs to to their consumers a lot and there's a lot of lobbying with uh, politicians to push drugs 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 like me from coming from kenya i'll tell you this um when you have a headache my mom or i don't know about you guys my mom wouldn't wouldn't give you wouldn't give me medicine right away if i say i have a headache it's like give me water and then ask me to take a rest like slip it through and then see tomorrow if you if you still have the headache. 
you will take medicine in this country it like if you tell a friend in a conversation like oh i have a headache the first thing they'll tell you is oh i have tylenol so this country is so 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 drugs 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 it's huge it is huge oh my god i can't even tell you so um so pharmacists make a lot of money because they are so busy they are so busy and there's so much there's availability <laughs> there's availability so this one doctorate degree to become a pharmacist you have to take a, a bachelor's degree first so most people do like chemistry or i don't know what else but i think the people that i know who did, who are pharmacists they did like a bachelor's degree in chemistry and then you go to pharmacy school so you do like four years uh bachelor's and then pharmacy school another four years and then that's it and then you do your certification so would i encourage an, a new immigrant to pursue this route yes definitely yes 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 you might get papers there will uh, this is a pathway pharmacy pharmacy school is a pathway to get a green card because it's a market driven career market driven career so that's something to consider okay what's the next one that we want to talk about business operation manager this is kind of subjective i'm not even going to discuss it business operations manager for what and it takes a long time to become that kind of person like anything that requires i would say for any person moving to america this is just my personal opinion based on experience and my observation any person coming to america and um you want to pursue a career i would say take careers that have like a landing like a like a nursing pharmacy like like you don't have to earn anything to do with manager you really have to work hard get approval like especially in a country where you are a minority it is kind of hard some it, it is not impossible but you have to go through a lot a lot of hurdles to get approval for you to become a manager it means you have to earn it and becoming a manager or um running something because you got an a promotion is subjective you know it's not like you take a test it's not like pharmacy where you take a test you pass it and you are licensed it's not like nursing you take a test you pass it you're licensed it's not like a doctor you take a test you pass it you're licensed to become a doctor so that one you don't there is no discrimination in that sense that you don't have to like please somebody somebody doesn't have to sit down and study your behavior and say oh you know because being a manager or running something or becoming a ceo it's behavior somebody has to assess your behavior and behavior is so so subjective it depends on the beholders the the, the beholders eye so i'd say for any new immigrant or for somebody trying to come here and um look for a career that is paying i'd say do something that doesn't that is not subjective right so i hope that makes sense so i'm not going to talk about that so i'll skip that one but you know now you know sales manager this one is good this one is good would i encourage an immigrant to pursue sales i say hell yes hell yes because it depends on your effort it depends on your effort and how well how articulate how you can convince how you can sell trust like sell yourself for people to trust you so yes so if you want to pursue a career in sales it depends on the customer and that is something that you can improve you know so that so that one i'd say yes so it takes a while to to hone your you know your your craft but man this career sales sales career can be very very rewarding because it depends on the bonuses how much you're selling and it's a science it's a behavioral science that you can you can improve on and you can get better so for this one yes you don't have to be a manager but you can do career in sales you can 
earn a lot. America is a very good place. America is a very good place to sell things. It's a consumer economy. It doesn't take much. You just need to like know the language and how to and, and know the people. So if you want to come to this country and become a salesperson, learn it, you can succeed. So that one I'll say yes. It requires a little work and experience, but yes, 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 yes to that one.